Uh, well, I've known, uh, certainly know the family for a long time. I've known his, uh, uh, his son. Uh, we worked together in the first Bush administration, and uh, of course it's a legendary family in Utah, so I've certainly known of it. I became uh, uh, acquainted with John and Karen when I came back here as president of the university. John's a, a, a unique combination of a tremendous, uh, almost uh, monomaniacal focus, a capacity to really focus, and yet to a purpose. I mean, even as he's building his uh, business, you see, uh, you see his interest in doing it, to not, not just to make money, but to, to create jobs for people and to uh, create products that people really need and use. Uh, and do it in this remarkably ethical way, and then to turn his attention to uh, uh, the Husband Cancer Institute and his uh, passion for uh, cures for cancer, uh, the same thing. You see this tremendous uh, energy and focus uh, and vision, uh, and at the same time, a capacity for work and for bringing others in to share that vision, uh, and doing it in the most uh, responsible and ethical way you can imagine. It's, uh, it's just a very impressive combination. Uh, you know, hard to say. I think, uh, I think part of it is that vision. I mean, I think John just sees uh, 10 feet farther than most of us and uh, sees what good can be done uh, if uh, the business grows and develops, if uh, the Cancer Institute grows and develops, if the research cures expand, if the treatment protocols for patients are better. Uh, he just sees around corners in ways that uh, I think most of us don't, and I think that gives him a uh, an energy and a focus and a drive that uh, is, is, is really remarkable. Well, he, cer he certainly seems to. I mean, there are others I know who, you know, may know him uh, better uh, personally, but he seems to be a remarkable father and a grandfather. Uh, I know he has served his church uh, to a degree that is uh, extraordinary given the other demands on his time. Uh, and, uh, he, and, he, and, a, and a citizen of this community. I mean, he just seems to be able to do it all in this really uh, impressive way. He brings the same energy and effort and focus, I think, to virtually everything he does. Mm -hmm. John, John seems to uh, uh, give the same energy and time and commitment to his family uh, and indeed to his church that he does everywhere else. I mean, he served the church in very significant positions in ways you wouldn't imagine even possible given the other uh, demands on his time, uh, and done it in this wonderful way. Um, wonderful family, very accomplished uh, children, uh, large numbers of grandchildren, all of whom seem very close to John and Karen. Uh, it is, uh, uh, it, it, it really is remarkable to see the breadth of things that uh, that he does. But I think it starts in some measure from the fact that his everything that he does is really fundamentally value driven. That he has a a set of values that guide him and direct him in everything that he does, from business to uh, his philanthropy, uh, to his family, to his church, to his community service. Well, I think the Husband Cancer Institute uh, and the Husband Cancer Hospital, which are among the very best in the world, uh, that sit up there on a hill as a, uh, as a testimony and a tribute to uh, John and Karen's passion for this. Um, it just simply wouldn't be there without what they've done. I'm, I'm um, struck by the fact that a group of philanthropists uh, got together recently and agreed to give half of their wealth to charity and so forth. I think John was light years ahead of that group in terms of what he has already done, much less what he intends to do in the future. Uh, and, uh, and we're seeing the progress. I mean, we had an event the other night where a doctor who had been doing cancer work for 30 years said the work he had initially done was entirely obsolete. And they hoped because of the work going on at the Huntsman Cancer Institute with John's uh, and Karen's support would make the work he's doing now obsolete in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a tremendous tribute to uh, John's understanding of the importance of research, not so we can, just so we can treat people better, but so we can actually find cures. I think John is this unique combination of uh, energy, passion, resources, um, remarkable values and kind of ethical standards combined with a real vision. And I think it may be that combination of things that comes together in a way that uh, uh, really makes him very distinctive in terms of how he serves uh, this community, how he serves the state, and indeed how he serves the world. Uh, no, just congratulations to John. Uh, the, the word Titan is one that I think is easily and quickly associated with him.